Welcome back to my show. I'm The Beard Venture. I'm Carissa. And on this episode, I've got one from Dixie. It's the Crimson Voodoo. Here's the thing. I didn't even know this beer existed. I'm a big fan of the Dixie Blackened Voodoo. And one of my viewers, thanks Tony, he said, hey, did you try this one? So he managed to give me some. This is not even available in my market. Uh, it is a raspberry white ale. It's 5.2% alcohol, and we've never had this one before. So this is a complete first taste. By the way, the can is cool looking. It is so cool. And another thing that I really like about this, um, it's all really easy to read. It was designed well. Every now and then you'll hear me say something like, it's out of register. I used to work for a print company, and when these things are printed out of register, they're, they're just not quite... And it's really hard to read. This one, on the other hand, even if it got out of register, I think it'd be pretty easy to read. Yeah. It's a nice can. Um, it's got a head before you even oh, poured anything. Oh, man. It's got a head coming out when you opened it. It's pink. I like it. Okay, pours super effervescent. Mm. Can get a decent head. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got mostly head. She got mostly beer. I wasn't oh, expecting. Oh darn! But I have some more. So if it's <laughs> fire, I can drink another. Um. Okay. Let's get in there. Mm. The smell. It smells like beer, but it smells a little sweet. I smell the raspberry. I do smell the raspberry. Now I don't know how well it's going to pick up. I do have some new equipment and some new lighting and things, so we're testing that out. But it's a little hazy, but it's not like blonde. It was more. Yours is more. Well, no, I was going to say yours might be a little more hazy than it. Me. It looked a little like kind of like a, you know, not like a blonde ale or a weed ale. It looked more like, I guess, I man, I'm probably getting this wrong, but more like a pilsner or something. But it's kind of pinky. Yeah, it's kind of pinky. Smells really good. You tasting it? Oh, I like that. All right. It's different. It's different. Huh. It's almost got a little bit of like a sour. A little bit. Um, It's a little sweet. Uh -huh. It's a little sour. Um, if I didn't know it was raspberry... I wouldn't know it was raspberry. I wouldn't have picked that up. It has a fruity flavor, but I wouldn't have picked up raspberry. But it's really good. Um, it does say white ale with raspberry added. Um, it, you know, like, mm, no. I mean, it, it tastes beer-like. It doesn't taste it candy. It does. Um, it has kind of a weedy taste on the back end. It's very crisp. Mm -hmm. I, now, I could have done a lot more research, but then I would have had I preconceived <laughs> notions. <laughs> and I just, I didn't know anything about it. I was given a six-pack. Um, it's interesting. I like it. Thank you, Tony. This yeah. is very delicious. I like it. Um, it's not overly fruity, but you do get the. You get a I'm gonna be honest. Fruit. It's very confusing, though. Yeah, this is it's different. But I like it. Mm -hmm. Um, I am happy with this beer. It's not hoppy. No. You get a little bit of hop in there, but not very much at all. It's not malty. It's mm -hmm. very no. crisp. Um, it almost has a weedy taste to it. For me. Mm -hmm. I like it. I do too. I am glad I have more. It is, it is definitely different. But, in a good way. Well, yeah, that was going to say, it's positively different. Yeah. So, that's a good thing. Um, I got to stop or I'll be done before the cheers at the <laughs> end. 
Uh, for one thing, the drinkability seems really there. Mm -hmm. uh, I keep wanting to pick it up and have another yeah. sip. I like that. Um, to be honest, I think I've just about described it about as good as it's I can. It's almost one of those, every time you take a drink, you want to try to break it down. Yeah. Because it's so different. It is, it is, it is complex, complex. Yes. Um, to be honest, I can't really think of anything that I've had that is really a mm -mm. contemporary, like. Can you compare it to? Well, I mean, there you can compare it to any two things, but I'm saying I don't, I don't know that I've had something that was like, oh, this is like a, that. It says it's razzy and refreshing. It is pretty refreshing. Mm-hmm. Um, I think this would be equally good in any season. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. You could drink it in the winter. You could drink this in the summer. Uh, honestly, probably the spring would where it shine the most. Mm -hmm. But it'd be, I'd be happy with it in the fall, too. I like I it. I don't know. I like it. It I, is very, I like it. It's cool. It is very crisp. It's very but bubbly. It's, well, it, but it still tastes like beer. Mm -hmm. Which is, mm -hmm. sometimes the, you know, we're getting to a point where mm -hmm. there's so many seltzers and those things and this, but actually still stays like beer. Yeah. This, I, I like it a lot. I dig it. Well, I think I've described it to the uh, extent that I can right now. Um, so we get down to my rating system. First and foremost, did you dig it? Yes. I did. I did. Would I have another? Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm glad I have a few more yeah. in the fridge. Um, how many to pick? Six? I'll do a six pack. I can see a six pack. Uh, if you get a chance to try one of these, definitely drop it in your in your yeah. pick six. Um, does it have any seek ability? Actually, I would say, you know, I so. I'm going to have to seek it because Dixie's not in our market. Right. Um, we know but, where we can get it. <laughs> but we know that we can go not too far away and find it. Um so it even has seekability for me. Yeah. Uh, really for me, all of Dixie has a little seekability. I, I've been really pleased with most of their beers. Um, so I guess we get down to our 110 ranking. One pint is the lowest. Ten pints is the highest. I'm going to let you go first this time. Seven. Yeah. I, I was waffling between seven and eight. Just it, It's definitely a solid seven, but it's different enough that it could... I think where this beer would probably shine is with food. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, I I think the the dinner beer. Yeah. Oh yeah. Grilled chicken. Yeah, I think that that little bit of fruity would complement food very well. Blackened fish. Mm. I think it it would cut on the like. High seasoning, but whatever. Uh, if you guys want to talk about this down in the comments, let me know. We'll chit chat, like, comment, subscribe. Mm -hmm. It helps us out. Yes, to your next beer adventure. Cheers. <laughs>